Having weathered the global financial crisis better than most, Turkey is now seen as a promising emerging market with large scope for investment. Joining me now is Safa Kerdem and Altuk Atelkan from Herdem & Co, an Istanbul-based corporate law firm that deals with multinational transactions. Safak, what role does Turkey play within the global economy? I think Turkey put a new face on attraction of the, the investments. And very quickly they changed the laws and they are very well arranged for the economic infrastructure, both on the legal side and both operational side. There are many companies who were interested in Turkey just for the location, using it as a hub. But nowadays, beyond the, the fact that it's geographically well-located, positioned country, it's much more important for them. How can they develop their business to the regions? Turkey today is a value in the region, and it's time to benefit, to penetrate the market as quick as possible, as long as the sustainability continues. How does Herdem & Co. fit into this? We are actually a combination of the business skills and the legal practices. We are mostly a transactional law firm and, and focus on the sectors and the industries that affect the economy in Turkey. Together with the financial aspect and the legal aspect, we advise the clients on how to manage, how to structure and how to exit their policies and, and their business. And how does Turkey approach foreign direct investment? Everything is the same. When you set your company in Turkey, it's a Turkish company and you can benefit the incentives if, if the laws and all the infrastructure is ready and you can join all the beans and the tenders. There is no obstacle in legal wise to run your business as a foreign direct investor. Altug, a third of Turkey's top 500 companies have already been approached by international investors. What makes Turkey such an attractive point? When you look into the last decade, the Turkish government have changed a lot of uh, legislation and um, uh, presented new incentives in the scope of foreign direct investments. As an example, since the 1st of January 2012, the new foreign direct investment law has been revealed and after these regulations, the Ministry of Economy has separated the foreign direct investments into four parts. In the scope of these parts, uh, they are looking for the large-scale incentives and the strategic in incentives, regional incentives and the general incentives. Now, the foreign investors are usually interested in the strategic and the regional incentives. Because when you look into the tax and incentive benefits of Turkey, uh, they can benefit from the custom duty tax exemptions, corporate tax reliefs and also VAT exemptions. And the, another part I would like to emphasize is, from the 2013, uh, Turkish government will try to uh, focus on the angel investments in Turkey. And after the February 2013, the Turkish government make a new regulation to uh, encourage the angel investments in Turkey. And uh, I predict that this will uh, mainly provide and the encourage the startup projects in Turkey and the new potential investment opportunities will be arise after these regulations. Which sectors have the greatest opportunity for investors and why? When we analyze the Turkish economy in last years, uh, the Turkish government will mainly focus on some industries and the sectors because they are looking for the near privatization and the liberalization opportunities in this market. As an example, if you ask me the sectors, I can give you the mostly energy, infrastructure and the construction industries. Energy is one of the most important issue in Turkey because generally Turkey is an important dependent country uh, in terms of the energy and after that, they have decided to change their policies and they try to provide new opportunities for the energy investors. Especially, they are mainly focusing on the electricity, renewables and oil and gas markets. I expect another circumstance about the Turkey is the new stock exchange will be established in next year. And after that, uh, the investors will find some potentials to get uh, good pricing opportunities on electricity market. And finally, there is an election looming in 2014. Tell me a bit more about how this will reflect on the stability. When you look into the 2014 election, I don't predict any change uh, in the scope of the government and uh, I strongly believe that the political and the economic stability will continue in Turkish markets. 
considering the way that how the, the investment grow up, up to date, because after especially 2002, the same one party government follows and the projects follows and they dominate. Today, the FDI in Turkey is about 12 and a half billion dollars. But in last week, the prime minister announced that there are projects valued at 250 billion dollars within 10 years. So this shows that how the, the government stability is going to be survived to the market and how the government is eagerness. So this is quite important for the, the foreign investors, in fact. Safak, Altuk, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.